welcome back to my sewing room. Today is Friday Sews. Yesterday I wore my pin tuck dress and all day I kept going like this thinking I had pockets because my other dress has pockets and this one didn't have any. So what I did this week is I took the pocket pattern from my Dotty Angel dress and I cut out four pieces so I could put them together and have, a, have them line like I did on my Dottie Angel dress. And so I cut out some pockets. I haven't sewn them on yet. I've just pinned them in place. But I just, I cut two like I did with the Dottie Angel dress and then just sewed them together so the pockets will be lined. So I just have to get those sewed on and then that dress will have pockets because it was so funny. I kept going like this all day trying to have pockets and I didn't have any. So I'm like, I gotta add some pockets to my pin tuck dress. So I gotta get that sewn up this week. And um, that's about all I got really sewn this week. But I had something I wanted to show you that I made a while back. Let me get it. I don't know about you, but I love hot tea, a cup of hot tea, even though I live in Florida. I think I must be part British or something because I love my tea, especially at three o'clock in the afternoon, I have to have a cup of tea. And when I go to people's homes, they usually don't have tea. So I made a little bag. I made this little, it's kind of like a makeup size bag, but I keep my tea in it. And I use my Cricut to put this little design here I made with a little teacup and it says, a cup of tea makes everything better. And I just love this little fabric. It just looks so English cottage. And then I lined it, I have a pink zipper of course, because pink's my favorite color as well as the aqua blue. And then I lined it with this beautiful little rose pattern. And then inside I have my stevia that I sweeten my tea with. And I keep my tea in here because the, the tea that I love comes in little bags like this, but they're not individually wrapped. But this tea is amazing. I used to buy the English breakfast tea and the little individual wrapped. And then I met somebody from England and they told me that you need to try this. PG Tips tea and oh my gosh after trying this I can't go back I love this tea but the bad thing about it is they're not individually wrapped they come like this but it is delicious so I keep some of these in a little Ziploc bag so if I'm at somebody's house having dinner I have my own tea with me and I say can you please give me a cup of hot water and I make my tea and it does make me feel so much better I love my hot tea it's so good so I said, I need to make a bag to have my tea with me at all times. So, I love that. I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, I wanted to tell you a little tip about this tea. I only steep my tea for two minutes and 30 seconds because it's very strong, but it has a lot of flavor depending on how you like it. Because I kept trying three minutes and it was a little too strong. The tannins got in there and was like too strong for me. But two minutes and 30 seconds is perfect. But according to your taste, some people like it really strong. But I just wanted to put my little tip in there because I love it at two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> and now I want to show you some pillows I made on my bed. Let me show you. These are some pillows I made for my bedroom. This pillow I made out of the same fabric from my curtains. And this pillow, I just love the birds and the aqua blue and the little bit of pink in there. Cause I wanted, and I make my pillows where they're slip covered like this so I can take them out and wash them. But I just love this. I love the aqua blue and the pink. It just reminds me of, of the ocean water. And then the pink reminds me of the flamingo. So I did my, my bed in white and pink and aqua. And I wanted to make, I made this um, boho type pillow that I have a tutorial on, on my channel. And so I, I got this fabric. This is what the fabric looks like before I, I cut it into strips or ripped it into strips, should I say. And then I ripped them into strips and then hot glued them on here. And a little secret, I actually ran out of fabric. So 
I kind of space them and then the other pillow kind of hides. But I just love the texture of that one to add some texture and bring out the pink in here. And then this I made a, a long time ago um, out of like a aqua fabric and a, they're all made to be able to wash. And it says, Thomas and Robin established 1983 when we got married. And since Valentine's Day is coming up soon, I wanted to show you a painting I did. I painted the background. This is like a, a, a very lightweight board that my friend gave me. And I painted the background, kind of like a beach kind of scene. And then I took my Cricut and I put this beautiful quote. Loving you is a wonderful way to spend a lifetime. And so I hung that in our room. And so that would be a nice Valentine's Day gift to make. Just wanted to share that with you. I just love that and it matches my bed. And then I also painted this painting with the aqua tree. I'm very beginner, so this is just me playing around. I'm a very much beginner, but I just love playing around with, with paint too, as much as I love fabric. I love painting too. And I also painted this painting. Oh, that light is in the way, it's kind of hard to see, but this, I call this like my Florida Lake painting I did. And this, those are both acrylic paints. And I wanna maybe put curtains up on these windows. I would love to get shutters, but they're very expensive. So I'm thinking about maybe putting curtains, I'm not sure. If you have any ideas of how to decorate these windows above these dressers. So comment below if you have any suggestions on, on how to do, how to cover those windows or what type of curtain would, would be the best for those windows. So this is my room, I love it. And coming up in the future, I want to make, I just got this washed and ready to, now I need to cut out a pattern. I'm gonna make another pin tuck dress out of this beautiful watercolor floral. I love this. So that's coming up as soon as I can get that going. And I still wanna make this, I'm still getting things ready to do this minky fabric with this flannel. Hopefully, I'm trying to get this ready for next week because I'm, I'm making up, um, a list of tips of how to sew with this minky fabric. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video coming up soon. Make sure you type hashtag Friday Sews in the search bar and you can see all the other um, Friday Sews videos and check out all these other people, men and women out there that sew, they're amazing. So check them out. And I just wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Y'all have a so blessed day. Bye for now. Ah!